I was very lucky to have grown up around lots of different musical influences in my life. Um, so my nan, for instance, presented me my first musical hero, um, who was Glenn Miller. And that's why I decided to learn the trumpet. So the trumpet was the first instrument I learned and I was loved big band jazz. Um, and then my parents have a massive record collection. My dad actually used to be a DJ. Um, specifically of like Northern Soul and Motown. So I grew up with a, a real love of melody, basically. Yeah. Um, and then all sorts of other influences, you know, like uh, we got into our local scene, which was like punk and hardcore and ska. Um, at the same time, Rory, our guitarist, his brother was a drummer bass DJ. So we were getting into drummer bass and jungle. Um, and that was about the time that dubstep was starting in South London. Um, and then I studied classical music as well. So yeah, I was just very lucky to have an influx of Wonderful. broad variation. Yeah, wonderful. One word, trumpet. I hear it on the album, of course. Yeah. You don't play it during the session this afternoon. No, I didn't. I'm actually really annoyed, yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't know where it is. I think it's at my house. At the moment, we're like back and forth, you know, doing festivals, like doing sessions. Because I only play it in like a few songs in the set, uh, I don't have like a trumpet tech, a trumpet tech whose like job it is to make sure that the trumpet is here and ready. <laughs> it's my job. Yeah. And if, if something's my job, then it's probably not going to go well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I was a comet, running up in 
through the night I wish I was a comet But I'm just a satellite I don't like the limelight So we don't hold hands in daylight I still track the closet my limbs they ache inside Surely all my family and my friends My God and my ends They cannot all be oh, 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 oh. So I play along We refrain from touch We are satellites In a cosmic dance amongst the northern lights And we all make fast here yeah. I wish we could comply the feeling I no longer want to hide Cause I think it could be love But I can't show you enough If I wanna burn through the atmosphere So like a meteor tonight Cause I think it could be love Show you enough I wanna burn through the atmosphere So like a meteor tonight For oh, the gravity between us Someone bring me down to land I Write a prayer to Venus What is life without affection? We refrain from touch We are satellites and a cosmic dance amongst the northern lights We've all been fast here I wish we could collide Sick of the ceiling, sick of the feeling I no longer want to hide Cause I think it could be love But I can't show you
failed the vision Now it's compromise Of the sight Of what is real Oh, it's right there Before your eyes For all to see The greatest of lives Have you noticed I'm a hypnotist? Have you noticed that you're going under? My eyes are bloodshot Bloodshot, bloodshot. I don't want to lose everything we got. Best film, it won't stop, it won't stop. <laughs> Because we started out in a hardcore punk scene, we very much grew up in a world that doesn't even really see a line, you know, from the stage and the audience. Like, and I think there's still a quite a strong residual sense of that. You know, we don't like to put ourselves on too much of a pedestal, which has often gone against our ascension as a band and has stopped us becoming a, a bigger band, I think. But it's important for us to feel a genuine connection and not just think of the people that like our music as a way for us to be to, to taste success or something, you know? Yeah. It's, for me, music, its function is to connect with other human beings. It's, it's, a, it's a conversation starter. It's a way of feeling a sense of shared vulnerability. You know, you put, you put a piece of music on, and it's going to make us all feel a certain way. It hurts Every time we fall But your worth It doesn't change at all One of our purposes as a band is to remind people of a bigger picture. Like, we so rarely in life get to think about our position in the world and our our species position, you know, the, the trajectory that we're on, mm -hmm. um, the damage that we're doing to our planet. You know, it's, it's becoming more of a mainstream thing to think about now, but like often we're just so caught up in our lives, like making money, looking after our family, doing what we can. And uh, we're forced into this extremely atomized, self-interested, self-maximizing kind of train of thought. It's so damaging. Um, and so I think, yeah, I almost feel like it's it's part of our yeah purpose to like keep reminding people that none of that stuff really matters. What matters is we're, we have one planet and the trajectory we're on means that we may not have civilization for much longer. If you can call what we have civilization, you know. And we 
The studio is actually situated in a vinyl plant. And if there's okay. something that you really like, have a sift through it. Yeah, okay, blimey. Well, Depeche Mode, I mean, what a start. Hell yeah. I had a big stage a few years ago of just basically discovering post punk and like proper delving into like the 1980s. And obviously, Depeche Mode have, have been uh, pivotal in like pioneering that space, especially with like pop sensibilities mm. and like bringing that sound to the, to the masses. Is this over down, blimey? Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had this on CD. I'm pretty sure we covered Chop Suey when we were like 13 or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, incredible, incredible band. Wake up, wake up. Run, rush and put a little makeup. I just have to fade away the shake up. Why'd you leave the kids up on the table? Here you go, create another table. You wanted to. I always get into fun debates about like metal and how I don't really like, I, well, I don't listen to like any sort of like first wave metal. And I mean that very broadly, everything from like Slayer, Metallica, that generation, because I was brought up on this. Yeah. So when you're brought up on System of a Down and then like local bands, like we had Sixth, who were incredibly technical, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. modern metal. Their machinery, yeah. such a machine. Yeah, so when you're brought up on that, anything else before then seems a bit boring and yeah. lacklustre. Um, so yeah, System of a Down for me, that was like my metal education as a, as a kid. The sound, yes. I found a statement about the sound. And they are one of my favorite bands ever. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I, I always thought that Adrian Borland and the sound were extremely popular on the continent and not in England, not in the UK. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't know they were popular on the continent. I was coming down 
down, down, down. Then I started winning, winning. It seems to me that they were one of those bands that probably had like quite a big cult following at the time and then the history just sort of forgot them. You know, like we all renovate like and rightly so, like Joy Division and, and other bands within the post-punk scene, but the sound were a bit more, I don't know, have just been sort of forgotten. Yeah. And when I discovered them, I was just like, the songwriting is incredible. Mm -hmm. Like the melody, the melodies, the lyrics. Um, I haven't actually spent much time with his solo material and I, I really need to. said that this is a hobby that got out of hand. Luckily, we haven't slipped into the mindset of it's like very much like a vocation, a job, uh, something serious. We, we still, we've been, a, we've been given this ability to explore with such breadth that it's still genuinely fascinating and enjoyable for me to make music and play music. You know, we've got our families to support, our crew to support. It becomes easy to slip into that mindset of, okay, we now have to think about this through like a financial lens. Um, yeah. But luckily, I think we've managed to still, yeah, avoid that and still think of it as something that is actually a, a way of connecting with each other and a way of connecting with people. Take the heart 
pressure. Failure is in our treasure. The power's a future endeavor. But we take on the world together. Even when shit sees you burning, feel our strength returning. Yeah. 